I think it's very important that we always keep the focal point that we're trying to make money here. If you're not careful, you start doing crazy things where you're not really even trying to make money. You're just trying to be right. You're just trying to you know, feed into a lot of stuff. And I think it's very important as traders, we just have to be awake while we're trading. We can't be half asleep. We, we can't be unaware of what's going on. We got to just be very focused and, and very aware of what's happening in our, in our trading. And of course, we have this drive where we at some level have that entrepreneurial type of thing. We're, we're in this environment where we eat what we kill. And it is important to put in that work and not you know use this as a, a, an excuse to not be active in the market or not, or not be doing the work that you need to be doing. But this, I don't know if there's something that somebody can figure out for you because the, the times that I'm not going to be needing to put the, push the gas might be a time where you need to be. Um, and this is a very individual thing. And as a trader, it's on us to be our own people and to understand where our edges really are, what our uh, natural aptitudes are, what our skill sets are. And the clearer and clearer you get about that, the more and more you're able to, to hone in on when that's right and when that's not. And this might just be something that has to come with experience because I don't think there's something specific that I can just tell you that this is how you know. But it's something like in you, you have to know. And, and going back to maybe more of where that art form comes into this is there's not a, a set thing that I can tell you, but it is something that you start to get a, a handle on and you start to figure out. And you start to see that when the market is being favorable, it is just being favorable. And when it's not, it's just not. And if you are, you know, in action, like we're seeing today on the S&P, where we're kind of slowly grinding up with never a lot of conviction where it's just obvious that we're going up, but we're just sort of drifting up and we're not giving anything back to the downside. This is a horrible environment for me. I want to counter trend. I want to be going outside back in. And when we start seeing signs like we're not going up and it doesn't seem like we're liking these higher prices, but we just keep doing it. Um, this is tough for me. And the reason I know that this is tough for me is because I've sat through this so many times. And I know exactly how this movie ends. Um, and you, yeah, you just got to be able to put in the time. You got to be with this long enough to see these different environments and to understand about yourself who you are, what you do in this business, where your edge is, where you really make your money. And when the market's not giving it to you, it's just not giving it to you. You, you can't force it.